exoskeleton chest armor activation test. It seems that there is air in the hydraulic system, which is why the chest armor is dropping back down partially instead of staying up. So I'm going to have to bleed the air out. And retract. Making progress. This is a bit of bonus footage. We're looking at the back of the exoskeleton right now with all of the control electronics. And this little assembly right here is the miniature power unit that runs the chest armor activation system. I just threw it together from miscellaneous parts basically. Here the reservoir for the hydraulic fluid is right there attached to the pump here and this small motor. This unit is actually the hydraulic pump from a Ford Mustang for activating the cylinders that raise and lower the convertible top. Then I added this small solenoid that I bought online and here this is a pressure relief valve from a residential water heater because that's the only relief valve I, I could get that works at the, lo uh, the low pressures that I need for this hose which is only it's not even really hydraulic hose so this gauge is here to tell me what the pressure is at so this is just an experiment and like I said it's run off this motorcycle battery 12 volt motorcycle battery so this is basically the first step toward building an independent onboard power system for the exoskeleton and I'll talk more about it in another video there's one more thing that I wanted to show you Do you remember when I said there's air in the lines and that's why the chest armor was dropping down well if we follow the lines from the solenoid up to where they go to the hydraulic cylinder which lifts and lowers the chest armor you'll be able to see the bubbles moving through this line when the chest armor reaches the top of its range of motion so I'm going to activate it so you can see You see those bubbles that's the problem so that air has to be bled out anyways I hope you always find something to look forward to and I'll see you in the future.